Okay guys, part two of this lovely snow scene. And uh, it's coming on lovely. Uh, the next thing we're going to work on is the river. And I'm going to show you just about some reflections. Okay, nice, simple, um, nice, simple, uh, nice, simple river with some nice, simple reflections just reflecting down. Uh, nothing too complicated. I will try to make it as easy as possible for you to follow. Okay? Um, so I hope you're enjoying this. Now, I'm going to take my... Let me see. I'll take this brush here, okay? Can I, it's a small flat. There's no size on it. It's... Uh, God, what is this? Let me just check here now for you. It is a, let me have a look. I do beg your pardon. Number 16, a number 16 flat. And these are all synthetics now again, okay? Just to, um, just to remind you, in case you've only joined me. Um, right, water, 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 water. Now I'm gonna make the water very light. Okay, and I'm going to make the reflections dark then in the water. So I'm going to make up a very, very light colour now, but a warm colour at the same time. Um, and I'm going to just dip my brush in my turpentine, dab it on the tissue so that it's just a little damp. I'm going to take some white. I'm going to mix it into this kind of an orangey sunset kind of a colour we have here. Okay, I'm just going to take some of that and I'm going to come up here and let's just take a look at this now. Now I want the sun to reflect down into this hair, okay? So I'm gonna take some Naples yellow and a touch of magenta. I'm gonna make this lovely kind of a warm, sunny kind of a color, okay? And I'm gonna put this in just across here where the water is. There we go, and just wiggle it sideways, side to side. Now don't worry if it picks up some of the black hair or the brown along the river's edge, okay? That's fine, that's what we want, because we want these colours to sort of blend in together. Uh, that's absolutely fine. If that happens, don't worry at all. Um, sometimes I do that on purpose because it just looks nicer with some of that colour being dragged across into the, the water, okay? So that's absolutely fine. I'm going to take some more away because I want this to be kind of quite thick. I don't want it to be too kind of streaky if it's wet, very, very wet. And I'm going to soften this down with my finger into that riverbank over there because I want it all to sort of disappear off into the distance, if you understand. You see? So it sort of disappears off and there's no kind of hard edge. So I just used my finger to soften it in, that was all I did. Very, very, very simple, guys. I'll take some cadmium red and a touch of blue and I want to start just changing the colour just ever so slightly on this and let's bring it down in here and I hope you're all enjoying these tutorials now guys um, it's nice I suppose for beginners out there to have these types of videos where someone's sitting down and just explaining um, in detail what they're doing as they're going along and showing the mixing as well. Um, I've, I, I watch a lot of tutorials myself even and a lot of the stuff that I find on YouTube is just kind of time lapse with some music going on in the background and there's nobody talking about anything, there's, you can't get a sense of the person behind the painting. Um, and, you know, I like to have someone to relate to and, um, you know, kind of get the background behind the guy and what he likes and what he don't like and kind of, you know, have somebody kind of tell their story as they're painting. Um, a lot of this stuff now with this time lapse and these fancy video editing things, you know. Um, Okay, it's fine if you just want to see someone painting, but you don't really learn how they're doing it. Um, what colours they're using, what techniques they're using, what kind of brushes they might like to use. They're just painting away, and it's going fast forward through the video, and, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult to learn, I find, from those types of tutorials. So that's why I kind of said to myself, you know what, no. I think I'll create some tutorials for the absolute beginner out there just to help them along and um, just kind of get them started, I suppose. 
And you can you can use this with your own techniques. You can just make up your own techniques as you're going along as well. Use them. Um, but yeah, it's just to kind of get you started along the way. And it's I just want to show you how I paint with with oils and the techniques I use. That's kind of basically that's basically what I'm trying to teach you. Um, you don't have to like them but they're there if you want to use them and um, I hope I'm helping anyway okay guys I had the river put in here now okay I'll just add a little bit of black as I was going along here with some magenta um, just to kind of it's getting darker as it comes towards us okay and it's reflecting all of these colors here all right so a bit of lamp black touch of magenta like that and just pull that through there we go see just like that now while this is still wet i want to concentrate on some reflections because i want to soften everything together when it's finished okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take my pointy brush and i am going to put in some reflections of these trees here all right Is that okay um i want to start with this one here i'm going to just dampen my brush and take some burnt umber with a little black now i want this quite dry i don't want any thinners really in this because it's already wet the canvas is already wet so i don't want to be putting too much thinners on wet canvas already um now let's go i'm gonna as we're here i'm gonna just darken it slightly on one side and then i'm gonna bring now the trick with this is to follow the same angle of these trees here okay so it's gonna come over like that see like this and then we have a big kind of a one swooping around like this you see and another one coming down like this and just be very loose with this now very very loose don't be trying to paint it exactly it's just an impression because i'm going to soften this down with the brush in a minute in fact i'll do it for you now i'll soften it with the very soft blender brush let me see if i can get it here now let me just clean my blender brush and let me just pull this down very very gently okay very 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 softly and then left and right see and it just softens the shadow in just very 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 lightly um we will put some ripples and stuff through this now as well in the minute so don't be too worried about that so that's one little reflection done and you can darken it a little bit more if you want on the dark side okay like so just a short reflection of that shadow and these guys next now I might use a slightly larger brush for these um, let me see do I have a larger brush? I do I'm going to use a large flat brush here it's only a cheap synthetic brush now guys alright very very cheap synthetics um, I'm going to go into some black again and some brown again and i want this really dark now because the reflections will always be darker than what they're reflecting so if you have a light green tree in the water then it's going to be slightly darker when it's reflecting okay that's kind of a general rule that i like to follow and um, it seems to work because of the transparency of the water and stuff uh you know whatever is in there is going to be slightly darker isn't it and we have this one then which kind of comes along like that and i'll put in the small branches with the little pointy brush in a minute i just want to get some of these main ones in here like that and again i'm only being very very loose with this all right we will put in some highlights very very shortly now with this as well go so now we have just a very loose impression of our trees reflecting down and then i'm going to take my pointy brush and get some of that dark color and let's try and put in just some of these um little twigs and stuff here okay one there one there 
and we have a couple here don't we like this you see and believe it or not now guys a lot of people when they're painting these reflections like this what they will do is they will turn the canvas upside down and a lot of people will paint like that as well as much easier as well for the beginner to to get used to the reflections you can do it like that as well if you like um but i like doing it like this because um i just find it easier to to see everything in perspective now let's uh, get this one in here and then it comes down around like that so everything now is just the opposite way around so if it's coming down this way like here then it's coming up this way like here you see and it's only just general uh okay let me see we have another one kind of coming out here don't we little tin branch and let's put that up like this and then what i'm going to do is i am going to soften those very gently now it's kind of getting quite dry the reflection the, the water is getting quite dry here so i'm going to just quickly soften these in okay and then i'm going to go left and right across like this no just make them a little softer that's all and clean my brush again take all that dirty color off and let's try and clean some of this hair Okay, I'm going to get some white in, some white and some Naples yellow, and just get some of the light reflections in here as well. Just to show a hint of these, okay? Um, it just makes the whole painting more believable, I think. Okay, and this is going to be going around like this very very impressionistic very very loose i'm not worrying too much about getting all the little details in it's just a quick tutorial on painting snow in the painting see it's just a kind of very loose tutorial now i'm gonna get my palette knife and then i'm gonna take some of the white Okay, so we have a little roll of white on the palette knife now, just there, you see it? I'll put it down to the shadow, you can see. You see that? And then, very gently, just cut across here and there, in by the river bank. And I'm making all these lines now horizontal, guys, alright? Completely horizontal. And this is just to suggest the ripples along the top of the water with the light maybe catching just here and there. And it also kind of separates the reflections from the bank of the river as well. Not quite nice. And it's just nice simple reflections. There we go. And I think off in the distance I might just push couple just along the river's edge off there I might take actually a little bit of Naples yellow and put some nice warm ones off in the distance way way off there so the Sun is kind of coming down and catching the reflections on the on the river as well well there we go that's a little bit better and it'll come along here. Like so. And there guys, some nice simple reflections. And immediately it just comes to life, doesn't it? Isn't that amazing? Now this side here, okay? Let's let's get this side in. Um, I'm going to do basically the same now what I've done with the left hand side here. I'm going to take some white. I'm going to take a little magenta. And I'll take a touch of Naples yellow. And let me put that in here now first and let's just check. 
so we can compare both sides try and get them similar in tones okay now bearing in mind the sun is coming down here it's going to catch the top of this one a lot more so I'm just keeping this one slightly lighter and we're going to get some lovely shadows in here as well in a second let's take some black and put some black in there and that will just dull that color down slightly so let's take some magenta some white little touch of black maybe a touch of brown as well and I'll take a touch of blue little touch of cobalt lovely lovely color cobalt blue and let me have a look at this now yeah, more blue I think I want this nice and dark over here now when I'm doing this guys at the same time I'm thinking in the back of my head this is snow we're painting now so I don't want to go too dark with this um, I still want it to look like snow if you understand what I mean so now I'm going to start adding more white into this Um, and this is like for all the world now this is like just an undercoat really I'll be putting more snow on top of this um, we get some nice highlights in here in a sec now that's just the, the basis of the, the painting now let's just get some burnt umber and I'm going to start putting some burnt umber in a bit of black as well actually let's start putting some of that in just along the river bank here okay so I'll get slightly darker as it gets it down by the river bank and I'm going to switch now to my flat brush okay small flat brush and I'm going to take some black and put some black in with that color that we just mixed okay so it's a warm black a pinky kind of a black and I'm going to just go along here by that bank and pull some of that up just here and there there we go So you can kind of get to start to see now the, the basic principle of painting um, a snow scene, a warm snow scene, that is. Um, just kind of use the same colours throughout the painting, that's what I will say. Um, it helps kind of tie everything together. Um, don't put in colours that will contrast too much against each other and that will kind of knock each other out if you understand what I mean try and keep tones very very similar and very simple now here we go um, I'm now going to take a different flat brush and I'm going to get some nice bright colour now actually what I might do first there I might just go along with the river bank and put a little of this dark colour just here and there you see and that will just show you the river's edge that's all there we go and I could even put a little bit on this side as well we'll just try and define um, some of these edges just a little bit more And I'm just kind of doodling now. I can do a lot of this when I'm finished tutorials. I kind of go back and I put little hints of little rocks and things in just here and there. And I kind of keep tipping away, just dabbing away at the painting. You see, everything, every little thing helps, doesn't it? Okay, some nice bright snow on this. I'm going to take some Naples yellow, a touch of magenta 
and loads of weight loads and loads and loads of weight and let's come in here and hit this now with some nice light color and i'm just giving a very solid brush strokes okay very sharp solid brush strokes i'm not blending too much like this because i want the paint to stand out because what happens if you start mixing too much like this constantly in the same spot you'll just mix your paint into the color underneath and we don't want that we want the paint to sit on top look i have another one here just like that you see and we put a couple just here like this and of course the beauty with the eyes is that you can pull the colors down and soften them in um, if this was acrylics now it would be very difficult to do this you see you can kind of soften everything in together make it nice and smooth and give some crisp edges there we go you see I'm going to blend this one down into that dark. It's coming together nicely now, guys, isn't it? Now, I might just soften one area on that there. I'll just soften this in just gently here. Pull some colours together. And I'm going to make it even warmer now for that glow up here I'm going to take some Naples yellow touch of cadmium yellow and some magenta make a very very bright sun look kind of a color here now ah there we go look at that that's quite nice isn't it So that sun now is really coming down here and starting to bounce around on the land. You can put a bit just here as well. And even in the water, guys, look, let's put a little bit through the water. That nice warm colour. Okay, so I'm nice bright white now just for a long hair. No, that's not bad, is it? So now we have a person walking there as well. Um, actually, what I might do is I might just put some little bits of grass and stuff in here. So I'm going to take my fan brush and just dampen it slightly. Take a little bit of brown and a bit of black. Now, I'm not using just brown on its own because it'll be a bit too warm for this painting. I'm just going to use brown with black. And just here and there, look. Little suggestion of bits of grass. That type of thing. Not too much, just one or two. And then we can take our little pointy brush as well and put a few in with this. Just a little here and there, that's all. And let's have a look now, see how we're doing. I'm going to darken some of these shadows on these trees here. I'm going to just darken them ever so slightly. I'm going to take some black and I think I might actually take a little touch of cobalt blue as well. Just a touch down at the end here. Okay. I just want to make them slightly stronger. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I just think they might look a bit nicer if they were just that bit darker. That's all. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better, all right. Now, um, okay, a little man here. He's kind of just wading through the snow, isn't he? He's standing there, God love us. He looks very lonely. Um, I might give him a little friend, all right? So let's 
take now let's take a nice color here i don't want to something i don't i don't want a color that's going to pop out too much i think a little bit of red and a bit of brown um you could just use red if you wanted but it might be a little brash so i think i just think a little nice bit of red with a bit of brown and let's just put that in here like this now it's mixing with the white underneath so let's take plenty of thick color there we go and i'll take another one um let me see now i will take perhaps just black so we have someone standing next to him he has a little friend to keep him busy doesn't he have an old chat looking out at the lovely sunrise poor old guy they're looking out at this lovely sunrise and they're happy together now uh, we better give him some heads will we and we'll give this lady some hair and then of course they need a shadow don't they to sit them down so let's take a little bit of dark blue the blue kind of a gray and i'm going to continue this line down create this lovely shadow in the snow here there we go a nice little shadow that's quite nice isn't it and i suppose we'd better put in one or two birds up in the sky so let's take a bird here and one here two little birds so guys that's kind of pretty much it um like i will probably go around now and add highlights here and there on the snow even so for example so i could put a little highlight just along here like that little dabs of snow just to bring out those the snow bank just a little bit more just here and there um you don't have to do this but i kind of go along here and there and put little dabs of it just in um you know it just kind of helps the painting i think catch those highlights and really bring them out so you can just kind of tip away with this just here and there um so I hope you have enjoyed watching me paint and um, subscribe and you'll get all the latest videos and um, perhaps give me a like if you like what I do and if you don't like what I do just tell me why you don't like it that's all I ask but it's always a pleasure to paint for you guys out there um, right let me see I think all I have to do now is just sign the painting and let's take some black and I'll come down here and I'll sign the painting S Conway and that my friends is pretty much how you would paint a snow scene a warm snow scene uh, without making it look very cold uh, it's just nice and easy now I'm just going to go along here actually look and just here and there let's put a little bit of white just in about in around that river bank on this side as well and my friends we will call it 
a painting finished I think now it was a nice quick tutorial um, I was just cut for space on my camera so I didn't have enough room to make one long video but um, let's have a look at this now here now that's not quite nice doesn't it that's a lovely peaceful snow scene so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it i've really enjoyed now teaching you this kind of a painting um, <clears throat> i had a request for uh someone I, I i beg your pardon i had a request from someone to show you how i paint um pebbles in water uh, so i'm going to do that next and also i might paint an animal i may paint a dog so i'm going to be painting the pebble one in the next couple of days look out for it and we will paint the dog i think as well because i got a lot of people ask me about painting dogs i know i painted a cat already but i think it'd be nice to try a dog for a change uh, just something different all right so i hope you enjoyed it and um i will see you very soon happy painting guys and uh, don't be afraid to give it a try just get your stuff and try it okay if you have any questions just ask me i'll be more than happy to answer whatever questions you have uh, so thanks very much and god bless i'll see you again very soon